Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys three high-end Dollar Tree projects. The first project we're going to start off with is a faux stone vase and these vases are so pricey so I'm going to show you guys how to get like the same look for less. Okay guys, so you want to start off by grabbing any Dollar Tree vase that you may have. This is an old one that I've reused lots of times. So for this project, I'm going to be using lightweight spackle and I'm just going to be taking the product on my finger and then I'm just going to be putting it all over the vase and I'm just going to be tapping it into place because the spackle really does slide all over the glass. It doesn't really stay put so just have some patience with this. Here's the vase all covered in spackle and I'm just going to let this dry overnight. The next morning. So here's the vase dry and the spackle really dried in place so you don't have to worry about it coming off. But the spackle gave the vase a bit more texture than what I was looking for so I'm just going to sand my vase down a little bit and you could use a regular Dollar Tree sanding block but I couldn't find mine so I'm just using a scrap piece of sandpaper that I found. So before we get started with our main colors, I'm just going to prime my vase with a white paint. These are the paint colors I'm going to use and I'm showing you guys them because I always forget to write the paint colors down in the description box. I'm taking the darker shade and I'm going to pour a little bit onto this plate and then I'm going to take a damp paper towel and I'm just going to dab it in there and I'm going to dab off some of that extra paint. And now I'm going to take my vase and I'm just going to dab my paper towel everywhere with that paint color. So this is how our vase is looking like after one coat and the dabbing technique really makes it look like you have a bunch of different shades on the vase already and it was just from that one color. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the medium color I'm using. And lastly I'm taking my lightest color and I'm going to dab that everywhere too. And there we go guys, we have our faux stone looking vase. Okay guys, so for our next high-end Dollar Tree project, we're going to be making one of these textured paintings that like cost thousands and thousands of dollars. So what you're going to want to do is grab a canvas from Dollar Tree and this one's an old one that I'm going to be repurposing. And then you also want to grab some all-purpose caulk from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to squeeze the product onto the canvas. And then taking this cake thingy that I found in the drawer, I'm going to smear the product everywhere. Dollar Tree does carry mini art spatulas that you could use, but I was snowed in when I did this and I couldn't go to the store, so I was just using whatever I had at home. There's also no right or wrong way to do this. You can have this as textured or as smooth as you want. So now that I have it all covered up, I'm going to use a plastic fork to make like those rainbow thingies. You could also use a wide tooth comb, but I didn't have one at the time. Like I said, I was snowed in, but the plastic fork worked out just fine for me. And 
and I'm gonna add in two rainbows which should make our painting worth like $3,000 since we're gonna have in two rainbows and then the textured background. Once you have the design that you want on there done, let this dry overnight. Now that the painting's dry, I'm gonna paint it with a light cream, but then I actually didn't like the light cream because it gave it a really yellowish tone. So then I just painted it white and then we're done. All right guys, so for our last high-end Dollar Tree project, we're gonna be making the bubble candles. So you wanna grab a set of wax melts from Dollar Tree and they have so many options that you can pick. I got the pumpkin chai ones and these ones smell so good. And then I also grabbed two of these candles that are unscented. For this project, we're gonna be using some of these bubble cube molds that I got from Amazon. And they also came with candle wicks. And I bought mine for like $4. I'm gonna check to see if that seller is still there. I think the last time I checked, they were currently unavailable. If not, I'll link the cheapest bubble cube molds that I can find. I'm gonna take a candle wick and poke it through the top of the mold to get it ready. camera I melted the wax and this is the pumpkin one and so now I'm just gonna pour it into the mold and mine spilled over but it's better to have more than less so here's our mold once it's dry and now I'm just gonna take it out And now we have our cute little bubble candle. Just make sure to trim the wick. This is the white candle that I poured into this mold and I did add in the rest of the pumpkin one. So it gave it like a really light orangey hue, which I really liked. But yeah, our Dollar Tree candles went from zeros to heroes. And guys, Dollar Tree is actually a really great place to buy candles if you want to try this out because candle wax is actually really expensive. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys try some of these out and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!